How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We should look at Tattoo Chef today because they had a major announcement which actually pushed them up to about $20.60, so about a 3% increase. Now they have fallen down about 35 to 4% since then. So we'll talk about that, but we're gonna take a look at what is happening, what we can expect here coming up because they do have some major announcements here in the next month. And there's some things for us to look forward to with their next earnings. So if you guys don't mind just hitting the like button, I really appreciate that. Sorry if I'm a little bit quiet. Uh, I have someone still sleeping in one of the other rooms, um, my fiance. So just wanted to be a little bit quiet there. Also, if you guys want, there is a link down there to Weeble to get some free money. All you have to do is deposit $5 using that link down below. And there's a link down there to Voyager in case you want to get an interest rate on your cryptocurrency and get a bonus just for signing up and depositing $100 on their platform. So Tattoo Chef had some big news today. We can see here, they actually announced that they're going to launch in Kroger stores nationwide. So their pizzas, entree bowls, and vegetables will be available in 1,800 Kroger stores nationally by September. This is pretty big news. I mean, so far they're in Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, and Target, and one other small store. And then recently also they did announced that they were going to have their vegetable products in Whole Foods stores. But this has 1,800 stores here that we're going to be included in. And we have everything from cheese pizza to vegetable bowls to cauliflower cheese pizza to cauliflower crust pizza plant based pepperoni, mac and cheese, uh, ca cauliflower pizza bowl, hemp bowl, Buddha bowl, uh, burrito bowl, enchilada bowl, street corn and chow mein so pretty cool i mean there are a couple things that i haven't even seen there but they say here they're pretty excited to uh they're excited to expand into kroger and shows that um they are continuing to get distribution into the conventional grocery store it's one of the largest food re retailers in the united states and they're excited to offer customers more access to their plant-based products now this is really cool because of the fact that they aren't taking this uh, these products away from other stores, right? They're not going to be just not shipping as much to Target. They're going to ship more, <laughs> which means more revenue, more earnings, etc. So that is really good for the top line, the bottom line. I want to hear more about this soon because they do have their next earnings report coming up. There's some other things that are very exciting that we might get news from too in their next earnings report earnings report now uh, we can see here again the different kinds of stores that they're in now they have to update this here soon because by september again they will be in kroger here now what is so exciting about this stock i have people ask me this a lot of the time uh, first of all they're growing revenue at 50 to 60 percent uh, at least this year and this is pretty exciting for the fact that this is a food company. This is something that's supposed to be slow, supposed to be boring. I mean, look at some of the big food retailers. But this is a very quickly growing company, a quickly growing industry. Now, in addition to that, they have great brand recognition, or they're starting to, and they have great products. They've been doing this for years. They've been black labeling. A lot of people like them. Target said that it was one of the best sellers, or they said the best selling product ever. Uh, implemented into their stores they are going to I believe beat revenue pretty significantly this year they said that their revenue range is 235 to 242 however this is not including any any uh, revenue from their second facility that they bought recently which is the Carson facility because it wasn't currently in operation but they want to upgrade this guidance here soon this was three months ago well two two and a half months ago at this point that they said that they would be up they would be um, updating guidance in the next coming months. So right now, I think they probably will update us on that in the next earnings report because people will ask, I believe. Now, whether that is 10 million, 20 million, 30 million, I'm not exactly sure, but this is going to be a nice surprise to a lot of people that haven't really paid attention. In addition to that, they have 185 million in cash right now. So about 10%, over 10%, of their stock price is just cash. So they have about $2 per share in cash, which is nice from an operational standpoint, nice from a risk standpoint. Also, again, we should be getting 
updated guidance on the revenue. Right now they're at a about an eight price to sales ratio if you look at their last quarter and multiply that out. <clears throat> so that's about an eight price to sales, much more attractive than some other uh, other people in this space, other companies in this space. But once we get up to, I think I think we could get close to 300 million this year, or at least in, uh, if we look at the 40 year, right? The last quarter of this year, I think we'll be, I think we could get up to near 75 million if we if uh, we really are able to get up that Karsten facility and we are able to sell again uh, pretty heavily in Kroger. So uh, I think we could get close to that 60, 70, 75 mil, which would put us at a just a run rate of 300 mil. I think they will continue to increase this year after year and they want to get up to that 1 billion number. I think they will be highly profitable in the future, but they're still in their growth phase. They're not really focused on anything besides growing and getting into new places, right? So I think that's where we're at now. So if you're looking at them for earnings, you're not going to get it this quarter. You're not going to get the next quarter probably, at least not anything significant. Uh, What they're trying to do is just scale as much as possible. Now, their earnings report is coming up here soon. Hopefully, it will be... Um, early August. I don't think they've actually announced it yet, but we will get more information on the Karsten facility. We'll get more information on uh, Kroger and then also maybe Whole Foods. And then hopefully we'll get more information, obviously on revenue, cash, stuff like that. But updated guidance, I think will be big and maybe what kind of stores they're looking at going forward. But a lot of the time they can't talk about that. Um, Yeah. So let me rephrase that. They probably won't talk about that because they don't want to Uh, ruin any deals that are happening now but think about all the places that they're in now it's pretty much every single big store with the exception of a few i guess regional brands but we're talking target sam's club costco whole foods kroger a lot of the big stores are on that list now if they could get out of the freezer section too like they are talking about right they want to they want to get into tortillas and stuff like that with their new facilities that they bought for 35 million that would be big too, just to get them other places in the store. That's just not the freezer section too. Now, overall, of course, I can't tell you what to do, but I did end up buying more shares today, even though it's down. Uh, it's actually down a little bit even since I bought. I bought right at twenty. Now it's down about uh, you know twenty cents per share. I am still happy with this because you never know when when it will pop right back up. I mean, it was up 3% on this news this morning, 3.5%, and it's come down, but the whole market's come down, uh, the whole growth stock market. So I am not worried about this. I think if we look back years from now, it's one of those things where time will tell what happens, but I think years from now, we're not going to be pissed off that we bought at $19.80 instead of $19.60. It's going to be one of those things where it's going to multiply. I think it's going to multiply 2, 3, 4x over the next five, 10 years. And we're just gonna be happy that we put as much into it as possible. Of course, I could be wrong. I'm not a financial advisor, so always do your own research. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. If you guys can tell me how many stores Tattooed Chef is in overall, I'm not talking about the different kinds of stores. I'm not talking about like five or six stores. I'm talking about how many locations are they in? I'd love to hear that because I really wanna know how significant this 1800 new stores is. I couldn't find it myself. Uh, Maybe if you dig through some of their old reports, you can find it. But thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.